All right, Monster Jam fans, welcome back to Series 11. If you weren't with us last time, it was Whiplash Earth to eliminating the Yellow Maxi in the final race. But let's see what Whiplash can do against two trucks. And they're in the middle lane this time. They've stayed in the black lane the whole time. Well, let's see what he can do in the middle. So this is triple threat racing. First off, Earth versus Surf race once again. Only two Surf trucks, one Earth truck. Here we go, Gravedigger, Whiplash, Pirate's Curse. Down they go, over the card, into the wall they go. Oh, excuse me. And your winner is... The Gravedigger, or the Wave Digger. And next up, the truck that lost to Whiplash, Earth. Max D, Yellow, taking on Team Throttle Monster, Kamikaze, and Jurassic Attack. And here we go. Down they go over the cards and Kamikaze will get the win over Max D and Jurassic Attack. Advancing to round number two. Good race. Good race. All right, next up, Mechanical Mischief. Taking on Hot Tamale, a couple of newcomers, and the Science Series veteran, the Grave Digger. So here we go. Down they go. Into the wall goes Mechanical Mischief and Grave Digger. Hot Tamale lands on his roof. And your winner's gonna be Mechanical Mischief, for he is touching the wall. And moving on to round number two. And next up, we got Bigfoot, Bad Company, and Brutus. Three indies from the three coolest indie teams that I know. Bigfoot, Team Scream, and Bad Company. Let's go. Down they go, and it's gonna be Bad Company. And I can't deny. Alrighty, next up it is Crush Station taking on Bounty Hunter, taking on Gravedigger the Ride Truck. And here's how oh, you know what the temperature is outside. It's not as hot as it was yesterday. It cooled down enough to where uh, Crush Station is pink now. I mean, it got pretty cool last night. So, yeah. Anyways, Crush Station, Bounty Hunter, Gravedigger, here we go. Over the car we go. Into the wall goes, goes all three of them. But Crush Station manages to hold on to the wall. He's, got, he's right up against it. Bounty Hunter is not. Neither is Gravedigger. So Crush Station is moving on to round two. He'll be taking on Bad Company. But who will be taking on Bad Company and Crush Station? Independence Day? Lumberjack? Or El Toro Logo? I don't know. And it's going to be El Toro Loco. Alaska's going to face Bad Company and Crush Station. Alright, good race. And next up, Stone Crusher, Grave Digger Gold, and Son of a Digger. Here we go. Down they go. Oh, Grave Digger switch lanes going into Stone Crusher's lane and manages to get the win. Hey, I, I don't. That. I don't, what am I trying to say? That doesn't really count as cheating as long as they stay on the track. That's pretty much the only rule here. And the only other rule is whoever goes the furthest wins. You know? It is what it is. And another battle of the Indies. We got a Dodge Ram, a school bus, and the Big Bad Wolf. Raising Cane, Higher Education, and Wolf's Head. Here we go. Down they go. Problem for Raising Cane, or uh, Higher Education. He flips it over. That saves it. Wolf's Head also flips it over, but Raising Cane, he, he stayed strong, and he is going to round number two. And next up, we got two Chevys and one Ford. Bad News travels fast, Jekyll and Hyde, and Snakebite. Cody Armstrong is still hungry for revenge. Will he get it here? Well, we're about to find out in 3, 2, whatever. Oh, oh Jekyll and Hyde. Man, he went real fast. Problem for Snakebite and Bad News. So Snakebite will not get the win. Maybe he'll come back as fast loser. I don't know. We shall see. But Jekyll and Hyde... Is moving on to round two. That's what's known. And next up in racing, three trucks I had the pleasure of seeing in St. Louis Saigon Shaker, Blue Thunder, and Grave Digger. The true heavy metal one. See what he's got against Thunder and Shaker. Here we go. Down they go. Over the cars and Grave Digger gets the win. No problem whatsoever. On well, the black lane is the blessed lane, despite what happened to Wolf's Head. But other than that, Gravedigger's moving on to round two. And next up, we got Gravedigger 1995, 
Monster Vet, and Scarlet Bandit. And, oh yeah, I already said, never mind. Grave Digger, Monster Vet, Scarlet Bandit, here we go. Over the car they go. Scarlet Bandit wipes out. And Grave Digger is going to round two. As he's closer to the wall, he's moving on. Now next up, it is the Destroyer, Werewolf, and Superman. Let's go. And here we go. Down they go, over the cars, and the werewolf will get the win over Destroyer and Superman. What a race. And now we got one more race to go. And this is the last race for round one. We got Max D, Earthshaker, and Snakebite coming back once again. They need a third truck, and Snakebite quickly said, I'll take that spot. So here he is, back for revenge, taking on Max D and Earthshaker. Here we go. Down they go, over the cars, and Snakebite is back. He is back for revenge. Will he get his revenge? Well, we shall see, because this is just the end of round one. Now on to round two. But first, it's fast loser race time. I just grabbed three random trucks out of the bag. I literally just closed my eyes and grabbed them by the tire. And, um, yeah, this, this, these are your fast losers. Superman, Blue Thunder, and Maxi. So Maxi's going to get another chance. The, uh, the first two trucks to go the furthest will will move on to round two. Because we need two more trucks because Snake Bites all alone there. So here we go. Down they go. And, oh, and Superman and Max D are, are back again. Superman is back once again, just like in Zack Snyder's Justice League. The real Justice League movie. Changed my mind. And now, Monster Jam fans, we are on to round number two. Mechanical Mischief, Kamikaze, and Gravedigger Surf. Let's go! Over the cars they go, Gravedigger and Kamikaze. Mechanical Mischief comes up short, falls behind, and, uh, oh, it's pretty close to call. Mm. Let's rerun them. Here we go again. Kamikaze, Gravedigger, Mechanical Mischief. Down they go, promise for Gravedigger and Mechanical Mischief. Wow. Mechanical Mischief comes out of nowhere, takes the win, taking out Kamikaze and Gravedigger Surf. So we're doing extremely well up until now. All right. Nice work by Mechanical Mischief. Now, up next, Lumberjack and Bad Company. Once again, only this time, Crush Stations is there. So it's Bad Company taking on Bottom Feeder Motorsports. Here we go. Down they go. And, oh! Lumberjack and Bad Company battling it out. Crush Station left in the dust. And, but they both bounce off the wall. And... Oh, oh cramp. It is a tie between Bad Company and Lumberjack. I really should have put that wall further back. Oh, well. Take two. Down they go, and Bad Company will get the win over Lumberjack and Crush Station. And that's why they call them Bad Company. You can't deny. <laughs> and next up, Raising Cane, Gold Digger, Mango Digger, and Jekyll and Hyde. Here we go. Down they go, over the car. Raising Cane, Jekyll and Hyde, both running to the wall. Grave Digger just catching up. But your winner is going to be... Looks like Jekyll and Hyde. And next up, one werewolf, two diggers. Werewolf take on Grave Digger 1995 and True Heavy Metal Grave Digger. Here we go. Down the go and Heavy Metal Grave Digger will get the win. Yeah, I'd say when these heavy metal trucks came out, I thought they'd be really slow because of the extra weight, but no. Seems like that extra weight helps carry them further somehow. And last up for round two, Max D, Snakebite, and Superman. Let's go! Down they go, and Maximum Destruction will get the win over the Man of Steel and the Vengeful Snake. Alrighty, Monster Jam fans, before we move on to the next round, we need another fast loser race. Once again, I close my eyes and, sh and shove my hand into the bag, 
and grab three random trucks. So we got Lumberjack, Brutus, and Bounty Hunter. Let's go. And Bounty Hunter. We'll get the win over Brutus and Lumberjack. Moving on. We're coming back. Whatever. Uh, I guess it's kind of the same thing here. He's, he's moving on to the next round because he came back. If that makes any sense. Uh, I believe this is the semifinals. I always forget when it comes to this one. So we got Juggle and Hyde, Bad Company, taking taking on Mechanical Mischief. So a Robot Monster Truck taking on two Five Finger Death Punch songs. Here we go. Over the car we go, and, and it, it is over for Bad Company and Juggle and Hyde. Mechanical Mischief gets the win. Friggin' Bad Company. He's, he's trying so hard, but he only got so far. But in the end, it didn't really matter. That was for all my Lincoln Park fans out there. Anyways, Max Z, Bounty Hunter, and Gravedigger. All three trucks are World Finals champions in real life. Here we go. Oh, and it will be Bounty Hunter taking out Gravedigger and Max D. Gravedigger had been doing so well, this one in particular. But his streak came to an end, along with Max D. All right, before we move on to the final race, we got one more fast loser race. We got Wolf's Head, Hot Tamale, and Bad Company. Here we go. Over the car they go, and oh, your winner is Wolf's Head. Oh, Bad Company came so close. Hot Tamale, just, it's just not his day. It's not his, his day. But who knows what he'll do in long jump, which is next, by the way. All right, we are down to the final race. The championship race, the Indies outlasted the Felds. So, in the black lane, it is Dr. Strange, the cat, and mechanical mischief. I'm having trouble holding this on. And in the middle lane, the green lane, is the World Finals Long Jump Champion himself, official tree rat in Bounty Hunter. And in the gray lane, it is Nitro Studios and Wolf's Head. Three trucks, one winner. Somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. It's time to go racing. Make sure they're even. And three, two, one, go. Your winner is Mechanical Mischief. Yeah, brand new truck. Well, well, it came out a long time ago, but it's brand new to me. And my cat has done it again. I gotta quit signing him up. He's just too good at this. Congratulations to my cat. I gotta go find him. And here he is, the racing champion himself. Congratulations, Dr. Strange. You're just too good at this, man. All right, so that will conclude Science Series 11 Triple Threat Racing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, but we are not done yet. We still got long jump and freestyle to do. See you then. Say goodbye to everyone.